Alrighty guys, we are, my dog is barking like crazy and she won't stop either because the girls just brought the chickens out. Yes, we have baby chicks brooding in our RV because we know we're gonna be on the land soon. So we wanted to start our egg layers before, as soon as we could so that they would start laying eggs sooner. But yeah, we are going to pick up our Azure standard order today, but I just wanted to let you know what, let you guys in on what goes on in a day around here. We went to the Amish, it's okay. We went to the Amish last couple days ago and we got starts. These are starts that I started from seed. I bought like five packets of seeds from Baker Creek before we knew we were gonna get land. And they sent us um, bok choy, I believe that's bok choy, for free, or kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is what that is, for free. Um, but yeah, I just bought jalapenos, tomatoes, um, a couple of bell peppers, and fish chard. Um, and they, these ones sprouted pretty well. I, I like these containers, it was five bucks at Walmart. I like those containers so much more than the Jiffy peat pots, or pods, or whatever, they're not even peat, I don't even know what they are. But they did not do super great. That's this over here. Yeah, the girls even sprouted in egg cartons and milk cartons. <laughs> they found all the, all the things they could sprout in. But the Rocky Top Lettuce, that's another one that I got, and it did so well. We just planted in, um, $1 Walmart buckets that I've had for bulk foods. I always pick them up because they're only a buck at the bakery. But from the Amish, we got watermelons and a couple of Jet Setter and Jet Star and yellow German tomato starts. And I believe that's cabbage back there. Um, but yeah, just a couple of things to get us started when we get out there. We're actually and a little bit of a debate right now, Brandon and I. We're debating on whether we should do weed fabric, which is quite an investment for us. I know, it's only like 186 bucks or something, or 46, I don't know. But that's a big investment. When you have a lot of things to start, that you need to start a homestead, like, you gotta, you gotta figure out what works best for you guys. And right now, we are debating between um, getting it or not, or just trying to scrounge up cardboard and straw or grass cl clippings or whatever else doing a more affordable frugal um, weed barrier or investing in the weed fabric the reason why I'm leaning towards weed fabric is because I have a newborn <laughs> and it's really hard to um, keep up on weeding when you have a two and a half month old you know um, and I want gardening to be enjoyable and I want it to be fruitful we're gonna have to run a tiller and we're gonna have to get a load of compost and I know that seems like not a lot, but um, with 10 kids, our budget's tight. <laughs> so we try and be as economical and as frugal as possible. Um, I don't, as of right now, I don't think we're getting the weed fabric, but I would love to do that eventually. I think right now we're just gonna do cardboard. Um, I saw Art and Brie do it and I saw Three Rivers Homestead do it and I think that might be our best option this year. <laughs> Ducks are heavy. And today is Azure Standard pickup day, so that's where we're headed right now. Um, I'm probably not gonna fi film the whole pickup process because that's awkward, but um, I will definitely film what we get. Hey guys, so we're home. We um, just pulled up with our Azure Standard order and like I said, a ton of it wasn't in stock. So, a ton of it didn't ship. It's kind of boring, but I will share with you what we got. We got two of these um, Nancy's cream cheese, the probiotic cream cheese. I don't know why it's not focusing. There it is. So we got two of these. We love these. They're raw and delicious, and even though I get raw milk, or have access to raw milk, it's just one less thing I have to make. We got a sour cream, and this one apparently exploded, so I'm gonna have to contact Azure about it, but we got two of these also. I got some organic onions. Organic produce is really hard to find local here, um, and when we do find it, it's not in the best of shape. It's not delicious looking. Um, I also got some vanilla beans, because I'm going to make my own vanilla. I love to bake. We got raw walnuts, some chives. I love Azure's um, spices. They're my favorite. 
some minced onion, and a big old bag of hard white wheat because I have a wheat grinder and I um, love to grind my own wheat. We also got oranges, <laughs> but they didn't make it home. My kids love oranges, so yeah, we ate them on the way home. Oh, and Brandon just showed me a big old jar of honey, six pound jar of organic raw clover honey, and I didn't even show you, but some baking powder because that's hard to find in our local Walmart right now. But that's it, that's what we got. And I have some cabbage lentil soup on the stove and I'm gonna warm it up and serve the kids. But that was our typical Tuesday as your pickup. Actually, it's not even Tuesday. That was our Monday as your pickup, right? Yeah. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for hanging out.